And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some action. Callista going to be our third action deck of the day. Uh, that action Tarek we just played was pretty sweet. We're doing donation deck week. We got all donation decks this week. We're going to be playing some ranked, some meme tier with normal, you know, kind of switching it up. But for today, it's all action decks. And this one is really unique. We're going to be having um, action with Callista and getting some, some revive synergies in here. We're going to have like... We're going to like let our action die and then bring it back with Miscall. We're going to be able to copy it with Splinter Soul and then, it, uh, you know, Chronicler of Ruin, be able to kill it and bring it back. That Splinter Soul plus Chronicler of Ruin is such a great combo. But even just Chronicler of Ruin plus Miscall, that's another really good combo. So we're going to have like that kind of stuff, get more actions in here. Um, and then uh, we're also going to be a Herald of the Magus deck, right? So we're going to be having our, land, you know, hopefully blowing up enough landmarks. To be able to uh, get this plus two plus two overwhelm for our different champions, and we can kind of do the same thing with the Herald of the Magus, right? Like we can Chronicler ruin that, and so on. And plus, Herald of the Magus is going to be awesome because uh, you know with Callista. So if we level up Callista, it attacks, puts in that ephemeral copy of the strongest dead allied follower. If that follower you know could be Herald because it's going to be a four four, that means it attacks, puts in Herald, you know, get that other. Plus two, plus two, overwhelm buff just from the attack. That could be awesome. The only other follower that's bigger than Herald is going to be Rekindler. That's also a 4-4, but has a higher mana cost. And Rekindler plus Callista, as we know, is a wonderful combo also. You attack, put in Rekindler, put in another Callista. All right, so hopefully we get to do that kind of stuff with Callista. We also got a Talia in here. Talia uh, with overwhelm is incredible, of course to go along with the Herald. And as far as like what we're copying, we're copying these Warlord's Palaces and Warlord's Horde that we're getting from actions. Like maybe we copy a Warlord's Horde, they both count down, now we get two of them, now we can give our champions everywhere like plus four, plus four in Spell Shield, and like those are the two landmarks we need for like Herald, now they get plus two, plus two in Overwhelm, so they have plus six, plus six, Overwhelm and Spell Shield. You know, we're just gonna do crazy stuff. Is it always gonna work out? No. Are we gonna get burned out by aggro sometimes? Sure. But we're going to do some crazy stuff, and hopefully it's cool. So here we go. Action, Callista. We're going to go head on over to Ranked and play five games. So we have Yasuo Aphelios. That's a great combo. We saw Yasuo and Aphelios uh, do a lot of good work for us in the labs, in our Aphelios lab. If y'all didn't watch that, that lab that I posted uh, yesterday with... Aphelios, and uh, then we got Yasuo for the secondary champion, and it was a really cool lab. Maybe, I'm hoping our opponent saw that and then put this deck together. That's what I'm hoping. But anyway, not the best hand with two 7 mana cards and this Herald that doesn't look like it's doing too much. Oh yeah, I forgot to change the board. Whoops. I guess we'll just pass. Great draw with the Preservarium. We're going to need different cards. And it's also a landmark. That's a great draw. Yeah, we'll change the board after this game. Ooh, Monastery of Hirana deck. Uh, could crumble to destroy the monastery, but I think we'll probably save that. We'll probably be looking to, to kill their champions. Follow the wind, but watch your back. I think they're expecting the ruthless predator. If they have another Yasuo, they have the Yasuo champion spell. Okay, they got that. Action! Blade never gets any lighter. You may just play action. Yeah, we can try crumble. 
but it's just so vulnerable. You know, like if we we crumble here, they could have any kind of stun or recall or deny or bastion. You know, like they can have so much stuff to stop that. I think let's just get this uh, Warlord's Palace countdown starting. So yeah, they can recall this thing each round, but then they have to kind of wait till the next round for the daybreak. All right, hope and vengeance, Yasuo. Okay, so that doesn't kill Callista. Because Yasuo is gone. So we'll just let that all happen. I don't need to, you know, glimpse beyond Callista in response or anything. Yasuo is now leveled up. Time. We can block with action, have it die, and then miss call, and bring it back, and then therefore rekindlers will bring more actions back. Oh, yeah, let's do that. I still have the mana for crumble my O1 one to kill Yasuo if they play Yasuo. This could potentially be a very long game. Destiny we could also potentially die pretty quickly. Sleep is for the guiltless. That's the problem with Crumble. Now they, you know, they can keep on picking up Concussive Palm. That's trouble. We each died, then found hope. You were thinking about playing Naturalist over Crumble? Ooh. That's interesting. Naturalist would blow up this monastery. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. In and out. Villains beware. Come to the light. Can I paint you? Look at them shaking in their well, because we're not, we're not, we wouldn't be the worst naturalist deck anyway. I've just sometimes blown up our own landmark to make a five four, like whenever, whenever we have other, like not these landmarks. We don't want to destroy these, but some of our other landmarks that we could have. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. We have them at nine. We got any drain nine cards in here? What was theirs is now ours. I want more grappling hooks, I think.
This is a really nice setup, though, from, from my opponent. This is a very good comb combination of cards. Yeah, very nice combination of cards. If we need to keep Glimpse Beyond available because of Concussive Palm, that only means that I have eight other mana... doesn't matter. I just had um, room to Splinter Soul the Rekindler. Alright, if I Splinter Soul action, it's a target and we get another action. So it, it counts as two for the Warlord's Horde. So we'd still have two left. If I play anything first before attacking, then they get to Sunhawk with Daybreak. Hopefully... Okay. I was going to say hopefully they wouldn't be able to do that, but... No, it looks like they are. Wow. They're not Sunhawking with Daybreak. I should still just be targeting Rekindler. Cause yeah, I've been basically I have to get this Concussive Palm out of their hand. I've been just like waiting for them to cast it. I've been hoping that they would have cast it before, because we need to respond to the Concussive Palm with Glimpse Beyond so that, that the 3 2 goes away so they don't get to continually put it back into their hand. Well, that's important, getting those two cards out of their hand. That's important. We are pretty dead to a lot of stuff. But we're not dead yet. That is what makes us dead to stuff, though. Definitely need Spell Shield on our champions to help out against uh, stun effects, right? Because they they have another stun card. I block, they stun. Um, you know, that's seven overwhelm we'd lose. There is still time to surrender. Just say, oh, please don't kill me, Akshan. Okay. Loping Telescope making Dragon's Rage. Man, Loping Telescope's cool. Five, seven, you level up to be a six, eight. So you can actually block Yasuo and stay alive. You're telling me? Can we do this? If it's 
Even though, you know, it'd be really nice to be able to pull this off, but I think we probably need to open attack, so. All right, how about that? We got there. They were, they were a little greedy with that seven mana card. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we won that one. That one was crazy. Darkness control. You need to do four damage. Your champions need to take four. Send it all back. Yeah, that's the thing. We've had really, really interesting games today. All these decks really do make very interesting games. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Deep breath now. Cool eye patch. You like it? I mean, shut up and fight. Wipe it off. Oh, that's a good aristocrat for a blocker. Oh man. That was a really good aristocrat. So that's three landmarks. I'm gonna play. Makes it kind of tough for them to play Vagar. Okay, so this could be four landmarks. But now I don't have the room to copy. You know, I want to copy the palace, right? With Talia. Would you look at this place? All right, think about it for a little bit. So then they think about it. Pass. Play something else, please. Blow up one of these roiling sands. No. Had to hope. Had to hope they'd play something. Not a chance. Okay, free up a spot. I guess I could have glimpsed beyond. So they're eating up the roiling sands. Oh, darling. There for your measurements. This will be kept right. Right. Your approaches. Rekindler puts action back into play. Kinda need to. I kinda need a vengeance this round, I think. Oh, I was just gonna die anyway to darkness. Okay, okay. Okay, cool. This still happens. Cool. Oh, 
I'll take it. I do not break rules. I bend them slightly. Ooh. I don't know what that's going to do. We could do something Long cool. Road behind. Long road ahead. Fast speed. Yeah, I guess we're just going to vengeance. They darkness, we shape stone. So I don't want them to just keep, keep creating more darknesses. But our other our other plan could have been like Splinter Soul plus Chronicler plus Mist Call, and we could have got a ton of action this round. But I'm kind of hoping to do that again, Harold. What are you up to, Harold? You just chilling? We don't play a Harold. Play Harold, I'm not scared. This is justice. Hmm. I guess that's not the best. Planning on miss call? Good thing we have Grassley and Dying that doesn't do anything. Be smart. Alright, let's give him plus two, plus two spell shield. And we shall make a copy. Copy will give us another uh, Warlord's Horde. And so it looks like the copy's ephemeral. That's what they're thinking. They're like, oh, that's just an ephemeral copy, no big deal. And we're like, surprise. It is no longer ephemeral. It is now a regular 7 7 auction. Okay, I think we'll just go ahead and carry on. My wayward son. So this is at four. Let's do this. Make it three. Two, one. Man, I just can't. We need, we need like three more here. Anything can be scattered to its elements, even us. Villains beware. In and out. Man, I'm just one short from getting another plus two plus two spell shield and get this thing spell shield back. Yeah, that was the only card they could have that could save them. I could have drawn a card with the Unraveled Earth and tried. I thought about it. I probably should have. Start this palace over. Yuck. Alright, we're gonna draw two. Okay, so if we would have drawn if we would have drawn, we would not have 
you know, gotten something to help that out. You have to kind of assume that their plan is... Like, their, their plan kind of has to be uh, Ruination right here, right? Probably. And we have Ride Negation for Ruination. Okay, well, maybe not. So it costs two mana. Lady Elise, where are you? Awesome, GG's. They are out of mini morphs. Vengeance with a smile. That seems like a good matchup. I think we want to continue to face that darkness matchup because of the, just the sheer card advantage that Auction can provide. Auction, however you pronounce this card. Twisted Fate Karma. Again, I think this is a good matchup, but they're going to be... So they're going to be like the Mirai Great Mother. So they, they can do some crazy stuff with Great Mother. It's basically, do they do crazy stuff with Great Mother or not? You know, like that's going to be the whole thing. If they do crazy Great Mother stuff, we, we lose. If they don't, we'll win. That's the game. I guess I could have mulliganed the fading icon also just because it's not great against red card or mega rain or anything like that. Have great mother immediately. This is justice. Possibly we should wait for the horde instead of getting the palace, but I kind of like playing this right now. Alright, so they got lots of Twisted Fates. So they're going to be, you know, drawing their cards, trying to get their Great Mother stuff going. Like a fish in water. <laughs> this thing's at five, currently. Considering going Ruthless Predator and Splinter Soul, but no, I don't think they're not going to be able to draw that many cards that fast, right? Or like the Predator plus Grappling Hook. Say, Great Mother can just do some crazy stuff sometimes. Is worthless. We are what we do. I don't think I have any answer to this now, so I guess they just have a leveled up Twisted Fate the rest of the game. 
don't think I have any answer to that. Keep up, keep up. No, I don't think so. Find us keepers. Get rid of the spray pen, I guess. Now this game's heating up. River shape the land and give it life. Soak it in. Looks like GG's. I don't know. We'll see. You know, like we're gonna we're gonna try to fight through it. You're in over your head. This will give us le leveled up Callisto the rest of the game. A gift from the river folk. So that's kind of good. Let's put in Atalia. Stands beneath me and winds behind me. Stack in the yard. I'm trying to get this Herald online. But it's not easy. Yielding spirit. My board. I take Yay. Blue as the serpent. Okay, so now Harold's unlocked. This would be a seven, seven four. Let's say saves extra extra life, like one extra life on the Callista. Definitely not to vengeance the scatter pod, but I mean they, you know, obviously always have a full hand. Level up was a fate.
And, like, the whole spell shield, like, grabbing spell shield doesn't really matter against all these red cards and everything. Shuffle. Why not Resurrection? You know, we get, what, one Callista with that? I kind of felt like we needed better than one Callista, so I wanted to draw two cards. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, the unyielding spirit was game over, of course, and that's the thing. Great Mother can just get you random cards that win the game. Unfortunately, they got one. Okay, new matchup. We got Tristana Poppy. I guess Glimpse isn't that bad with Aristocrat. We'll just send it all. We'll just send it back though. We of course want to find our champions. We want to find Auction in particular. Cool, cool. I never changed the board. I just realized. So we've gone through all this and I never changed the board. already All right team adventure time That's bad Can it. 
We need something good. Hmm. Not exactly it. It for something good. Play the aristocrat, I guess. I think we could use another Chronicler of Ruin. We maybe use just like one more of that card. That's a lot of times I want to do Chronicler of Ruin stuff. I'm like always happy to have Chronicler of Ruin in this call. Of course, you have to have your champions first for those. But good hand opponent, so it looks like we're about to be two and two. At least we get to do that. Well, that's good. I guess no sure. heroes around here. All right, let's go in this. All right, we got a landmark matchup. Talia Malphite. All right, let's get rid of those hapless aristocrats. I don't think we really need them for attacking and blocking purposes. Maybe we want more powerful cards than that. Just saw that game. The aristocrat just doesn't like. So the aristocrats are in here for the the aggro matchup, but besides that, it just doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna save one spell mana instead, and maybe we, we use that spell mana later for something else. Actually, I'll eat up that thing. Now my action can attack through those. I assume, like, I pass, they pass. So... We only get, we only get one there. But oh, we're gonna waste our mana... Otherwise. So both these, both these landmarks are going to pop at the beginning of the round. I'll be three out of four. I can play like a Hapless Aristocrat to challenge to kill that, or I could play like Splinter Soul. Splinter Soul levels up Callista right now, but I'd rather save that Splinter Soul. I'd much rather save it for Herald and Rekindler. Like Hapless Aristocrat and Vengeance. Hey, Yix. Oh, 
that's not looking good. Yeah, because now they just say we can't block. And that's game over. Good hand opponent. Really good curve. Rain on my feet. Both champions and, you know, like... Yeah, that was a great curve. Good hand. Guess we have to pass. And now we can put in this. We get two blockers. Oh, that's exactly thirteen. Oh, and I can't. I can't make like. I can't splinter soul. Hmm. Well. You cannot run from absolution. I guess technically I could go block, block. It's not 13 unless if they mess it up. Yeah, they didn't mess it up. From the dark. So 15. Ugh. All right, good hand. We had a couple of good curves those last two games, and just, you know, like, really, you know, like, those last two games, our opponents pressured us a whole lot, and that's, can, you know, that can definitely be the problem with our decks if our opponents pressure us a lot. And uh, then the the other game was just that unyielding spirit, which was just really unfortunate. But still, two and three, and we got to really show off like some cool stuff the first two games. So I like that. I like I like if we're gonna go two and three, I like winning the first couple because uh, those are the one you know people <laughs> you know watch those games more. So I definitely like that. I'd rather win the first couple than the last couple. But uh, yeah, we got to see that with especially in those first couple of games, we can do some really cool stuff with action, miss call, splinter soul, you know, rekindler, all that like all that kind of combo stuff we get to do some really cool things i kind of like all that that kind of stuff with the deck i kind of think that like the hapless aristocrats are just maybe not necessary maybe you just because like they're they're in here for the aggro matchup but aggro's are already going to be like a tough matchup anyway and i kind of feel like you should just we should just take these out because like every time that we have them they're basically just dead cards and they just take up board space that can get really annoying maybe we just don't even need these kind of things and just instead just you know focus on uh maybe like uh, maybe other ways to like protect our champions with, um, and, and like more landmarks, maybe like ancient hourglasses, um, and just, you know, more like rock hopper action, ancient hourglass, shape stone. I don't know, maybe all that kind of stuff. And just not, don't even worry about aristocrat. It makes leveling up Callista a tad more difficult, but if we're playing like, you know, if we get more splinter soul, chronicler of ruin kind of combo stuff, you know, we can do that kind of stuff to help level up Callista too. I just, I also don't really like Grass the Undying, it's just so expensive. It does give you a little bit of Nexus healing, and that's important. But maybe there's a better way to, maybe there's a better, more efficient way to have Nexus healing than that. Um, but it just doesn't kill, as we saw there, it doesn't kill a lot of things that we have to kill, and it costs 5 mana, so much mana. Alright, but that's going to be it here for Action Callista. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. You got any ideas to improve the deck? Let me know, especially those first couple of games. You can see the power here that we have once we get into the late game uh, with all the this different combo stuff. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you got any ideas to improve it. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next one.